that's it for today's lessons mac lessons radio show i um, want to give a shout out to rockland what's up rockland for you brothers and royal sisters today on passport kings i'm counting down the top five places that you are not able to visit engage i'm rockland I travel the globe for leisure, exploration, and education about different cultures. Join me, and you too can be royalty. This is Passport King. Welcome aboard, abroad. Our world is chock full of exclusive or secretive places that you are either unaware of or just couldn't visit no matter how much you wanted to. In this list of the top five secret places you aren't allowed to visit, we explore places that you cannot access or ones that are off limit to the general public. Five, the Vatican Secret Archives. As the name suggests, these archives form the central repository for every act promulgated by the Holy See. Correspondence, papal account books, state papers, and documents accumulated over the years are all contained within the archives. The term secret in the name translates into confidential as these archives are not exactly a secret. These archives are amongst the personal property owned by the Pope, meaning neither the Holy See nor any department of Roman Curia share ownership. In the 17th century, Pope Paul V ordered that the secret archives be separated from the Vatican Library. Here, only scholars achieved access to them, although it was limited. This went on until 1881 when under the special order of Pope Leo XIII, researchers were given access to these archives. Currently, over a thousand researchers study said documents annually. By requesting to do so, you too can study documents that are over 75 years old. However, not within the archive since entry is prohibited. The grandeur and sheer volume of documents are what intrigue people and it is believed that this archive contains 35,000 volumes solely within the selective catalog and boasts around 52 miles of shelving. Mezgorye, a site where Russian troops are diligently doing their job day and night to safeguard the supposed site where Russia's nuclear missiles are built is next on our list. This closed town, founded in 1979, is situated near Mount Yamato and is named Mesgoria. At 1,640 meters or 5,831 feet, Mount Yamato is none other than the highest peak of the southern Urals. U.S. officials suspect that nestled here are an enormous nuclear facility and probably a bunker. The mystery surrounding this town and the project is deep because repeated U.S. probes to Russian government have yielded varying responses. Some answers by the government include that Mount Yamato is a repository for national treasures, a mining site, a bunker equipped for leaders to survive probable nuclear wars, and food storage space. Adding to the mystery of this town is the U.S. satellite imagery through which excavation projects in the late 1990s came into light. This was the period when the world witnessed the end of the Soviet Union and the rise of the pro-Western government of Boris Yeltsin. Seems like this site's details will remain a mystery for a long time as it is off limits to the general public. Issei Grand Shrine Our next secretive venue is located in Japan and is the nation's most sacred shrine. The Issei Grand Shrine dedicated to the sun goddess Amaterasu comprises of a series of shrines that are more than a hundred in number. This spectacular shrine, only the thatched roof of which is visible, dates all the way back to the 4th century BC. The shrine's significance increases manifold owning to the fact that the Naayak, which is a mirror from Japanese legends and most valued item of the country's imperial history, is stored here. Interestingly, keeping a proud tradition alive once in every 20 years, the Shinto concept of death followed by rebirth is showcased here by demolishing and rebuilding the entire shrine. The last demolition and construction was accomplished in 2013. This Japanese site definitely ranks pretty high on the list of places that you and I will never be able to visit because only priests and priestesses that are part of the imperial family can enter the shrine. Well. If you happen to be Japanese royalty, you might be able to see more than photos showcasing only some parts of the magnificent exterior. Area 51. This site has occupied the second spot on our list, as almost everyone expects it to be mentioned. This area is a military base and is well known by its nickname, Area 51. 
Located in the southern part of Nevada and western part of the USA, it is situated 83 miles away from downtown Las Vegas towards the northwest direction. A huge secretive airfield of the military is located at its center and along the southern shore of Groom Lake. This base mainly functions to keep up operations like testing and development of experimental weapon systems and aircrafts. The government of the USA hardly acknowledges the existence of this secret base, which is why it can be maintained as an intensely secure location. This is also the reason for numerous speculations regarding UFO sightings and this site being considered as a subject for conspiracy theories. Area 51 is a restricted area, and warnings are placed outside it, warning trespassers from entering, and declaring that deadly force might be used against those who enter, without permission. Locations in the interiors of this area can be accessed only with permission from higher authorities, who deny its existence. RAF Menwith Hill RAF Menwith Hill is the most secretive location on Earth, so quite obviously, visiting is prohibited. This is the British military base which also has connections with the global spy network Echelon. It also happens to be home to the largest electronic monitoring station of the world, as it has a wide-ranging satellite ground station along with a communications intercept and a missile warning site. Numerous satellites operating under U.S. National Reconnaissance Office are connected to the ground station and it handles these responsibilities for the U.S. National Security Agency. The antenna of these satellites are located in unique and numerous white radoms. These satellites are suspected to be a part of Echelon's system. Apparently, Echelon was created with the objective to monitoring the military and diplomatic communication between the Soviet Union and its allies of the Eastern Bloc throughout the Cold War. Since the Cold War's end, Echelon is busy looking for plans by drug dealers, political and diplomatic intelligence, and lastly, terrorist plots. Also, this organization is concerned with conducting commercial espionage. So quite naturally, it violates privacy to an extreme level by filtering all radio and telephonic communications in nations which avail its services. Maybe someday we will be given access to these places, but until then, let us just wonder what might be in store for us. And remember, mystery's biggest enemy is time. Cause time will tell, and all things will eventually come to the light. So yo, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Then in the comment section, tell me your thoughts on this subject or traveling in general. I always answer those. Plus, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And don't forget to go to www.passportkings.com so you can learn about the awesome travel and money making opportunities that we provide. Don't let people restrict where you want to go. Go where you need to go and where you want to go, like a king of Passport King.